I am here with Jimmy Wallhead, a true veteran, true MMA veteran. You've had, I think, 17 of your 32 fights, pro fights with Cage Warriors. How does it feel to be back and to have such a spectacular knockout? Yeah, feels very, very good. Very, very good. I was very nervous today, I'm not going to lie. Very nervous. Three years out, it's a long time out. And uh, Skabinski's a very tough opponent. So I had a lot of nerves today. Um, but yeah, like I said, me 40, that was my 46th fight today with mm -hmm. K1 as well. So um, by the time I started warming up, it all just come back. It all felt good. I was ready to, felt like a killer again. It was good. Felt like I'd never been away. Speaking of nerves, you've mentioned before, I heard you speaking with Dan Strauss, mm -hmm. and you were saying how you used to struggle a little bit with mm. stress, you know, with self-doubt, I would say, the yeah, day absolutely. of your fight. Mm. So did you feel that? Like you said you were stressed, but did you feel the self-doubt creeping uh, in today? A little bit, a little bit. I mean, that was my, I'm on a win streak now, uh, three fights. I mean, I had a bit of a breakdown like five years ago, four years ago, and uh, since then, um, I've never really suffered it again. I've got three, three good wins now since, mm -hmm. since I had some a bit of a dark time in my life. Uh, a little bit of self-doubt today, but nothing like I felt that the, I used to be like when it kind of halted my career, made me miss wins early in my career. I was, I was very bad with self-doubt early in my career. I had a little bit today, but just general sort of nerves. And like I said, as soon as I started warming up, uh, yeah, I felt like a killer. I've trained hard this camp. You know what I mean? I trained really, really hard. Like I'm 38, three years out, so I knew I had to put it in. And I put in some serious work. And, I, uh, and I, I, honestly, I feel fitter and stronger than I ever have at 38. I, I felt very good coming into this fight. I won a lot of rounds at my, at my gym and I um, was in a good place. So I was very confident. As soon as I started warming up, the confidence was in and I was ready to go. Speaking of your gym, you started a gym with Dan Hardy, mm -hmm. Hardy Wallhead, a.k.a. Roughhouse 2.0. Yeah. Was this, a, did it play a big part of the, the fact that you've been absent for competition from two, for two, three years? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I set up a gym, obviously uh, the mm -hmm. pandemic as well. I had a couple of injuries after my last fight and just, yeah, I wasn't sure, you know, I wasn't sure if I, if I was going to fight again, yeah. to be honest. And then obviously, you know, uh, Graham came with the offer of Cage Warriors and mm -hmm. uh, it just felt right in my heart. You know what I mean? I, why? I'm just taking it one, I've signed for five fights, I'm just taking it one fight at a time. Um, but I want to, yeah, I want to finish my career where it started. I want to finish my career here. Well, now after this win tonight, I know you said you want to retire eventually with Cage Warriors. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to make a no, run for the title yes, before you I retire? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, yes. One fight at a time. The next fight for me has got to be that title. Let's go for that. See what happens there. Then I'll think about the one after that, after that. We'll take it one fight at a time. But uh, yeah, I'd love to fight for the title. That sounds good to me. Let's well, do that. Amazing performance <laughs> tonight. Thank yeah. you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.